All right, so I completely get the hype over yes, yes. Bucky's. This is this place is no joke. Hi, I'm Andrew, and I'm Dora, and we're Mr. and Mrs. K. We're a couple from New York that started this channel in 2021 to share our travel, food, and experiences. Follow us as we find new, interesting, and exciting things along the way. Boop. On the third day morning, we start with retrospect coffee. What's special about this coffee place is it used to be a gas station. So an attraction that Houston is notoriously known for and I'm sure everyone knows is the Space Center. And I think as a kid in school we learned and kind of read about the Johnson Space Center. But this is a really cool experience for those who love to learn about space and just space exploration missions and all things space related. I mean as you can see there's a lot of kids around so this is a pretty family friendly kind of attraction. You can use the Space Center app to sign up for the tram tours, but to be honest, it's not really user friendly. We had a little trouble, but we ended up being able to uh, sign up. All right, so we're getting on the tram right now. This car is going to last about 45 minutes with no rush to break the vehicle until we reach our last stop at Rocket Park. With that being said, whenever you're ready to go, so are we. You'll see a long white building that houses the Saturn V rocket. Inside is a real Saturn V rocket. It is 363 feet tall and weighs about 6.5 million pounds. Now we are in Rocket Park. This is super cool. Look how big this is. This is the rocket and this is just one exalt. It's huge. It's 
pretty crazy to see like all the inner workings of a rocket and just all these space missions. Like to be able to see kind of firsthand or just up close what it takes to uh, get a person on the moon is pretty insane. And it's just so impressive. All these pipes and wires and stuff, it's just, it seems so complex. It's just, I can't even begin to think like what this does. You know, like what- designers are so impressive. Yeah, this is the- must be genius. Right? But this is such a cool experience to be able to see these up close. We just ended our uh, one of the tram tours, so we were at the rocket park and the astronaut training facility. So that was pretty fun. Now we're actually back at the space center, and it's almost time for our other tram tour, which is the white one, where we're going to uh, the control center. I'm actually really excited about that. to be able to touch this. where they uh, use the restroom. It's pretty funny. I've always wondered how they like, how it worked. Because there's no gravity. Now we're on the flight deck. So it seems to be more on space exploration than space itself. So kind of like NASA uh, missions, space shuttles, and I guess like the operations. And you get like some interactive areas, which makes things a lot more interesting. And you kind of get a like a firsthand view of how they how things work. Personally, I can't say that I'm the biggest space fan, or that we really stay updated on the space world. But this. This was a really fun experience. It's pretty much a cornerstone of Houston history and cutting edge space discovery. So I would say this is definitely a must visit, especially if you're if this is your first time in Houston. <laughs> Touching a piece of the moon. Oh really? Feels like a bathroom <laughs> tile. This is a moon? <laughs> yeah. Touch the moon. It's like a plastic. Okay, count down for me everyone. 
is take our rocket engine over here. We are going to shake it around like this. Now right now what I'm doing is I'm making it easier for the fuel to mix in with oxygen. Because remember, there are three components that we need for a combustion reaction. Heat, fuel, and... Oxygen! That's right, oxygen. Okay, so let's do our special countdown. One more time, everyone. Heat, fuel, oxygen. Thank you for coming on to the show, and I hope you all learned more about what makes things go. Oh. Our last stop in this uh, space center is the gift shop. I'm we gonna grab. I'm actually really looking forward to the gift shop. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of things out. <laughs> this is such a cool experience. So we have to make it memorable, right? We just left uh, the space center in Houston, and it was actually really fun. We had quite. A great time we almost well we spent the entire day here starting from 11 o'clock but the two tours kind of a little bit more time consuming but yeah, they're they very up, enjoyable they definitely took up the most time but it was so fun it was like the space center is just very like educational and it was just it's like so immersed into it yeah and was also very amazed by the technology engineering skills behind it and how much courage really takes astronauts to go into the space i think i had expected it to be fun but i didn't expect that how interactive it was and also i didn't expect to see the real thing i thought it was going to be more like a show like a, a model or something but i didn't expect they actually take you to where the original control room was yeah that was super cool the actual rocket of Ap apollo like the training center and everything the training center and everything yeah so that was that really was... cool that wraps up our video on the space center houston if you like this video please give us a thumbs up don't forget to share and subscribe we release videos every thursday see you next week bye bid you adieu cockatoo